PandaDoc tutorial, how to use PandaDoc for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys step-by-step -step how you can get started with PandaDoc. PandaDoc enables you to build your own emails, invoices, add your initials, signatures, and so much more. It's a simple and efficient to use tool with all of the basic building blocks present within. So let's get started on PandaDoc. So to get started, simply head on over to pandadoc.com and click on start free trial over here. From here, you can sign up. So we will just enter our email address and our password. And if you want to get started with your personal email, you can use one of their plans with the personal email option, which is one of their free electronic signature plan. It is slightly limited to their business plans. If you do have a business email currently, you can sign up for the all inclusive version. However, if you don't, you can proceed with the free version as well. So we're just going to enter our basic information and I'll get back to you guys in a second. So over here, I have just completed my sign up and you guys can see after your sign up, they will offer you the different types of plans that they have. Now, this depends on the number of licenses you want as well. So the number of people that can also do e-signs, it's especially better if you are in a larger team to get Panadoc all together. Now, after that, you will see your basic dashboard. Now, in your dashboard on the left, you have a panel. In this panel, it includes your documents, templates, forms, content libraries, catalogs, contacts, and reporting functionalities. Now, one thing to note whenever you get started with PandaDoc is that you can go directly into the content library first to start building some of your basic content. This includes uploading any of your logos or any of your pre-existing templates that you already like to use. Now, if you want to get started directly into the basic functionality of PandaDoc, which is invoicing and more, you can go into the template section on the left panel, and then you will see a few different templates available, and you can click on template gallery in the left to choose a particular template of your choice. This really depends on the type of template that you are looking for. Let's say for our particular situation, we want a invoice. So you can go into the invoices section and choose the invoice that you want and then click on use template. Now, once you do that, you can rename your template. So let's say this is going to be Durden's invoices, and then you have the sender name and the client name as well. So I'll just put in the client name over here like this. Now, once you have input your email address and your first name, last name like this, click on continue over here to head on over to the actual document that we are going to design. Now, once our actual document pops up, you can optimize every section with different content blocks. So you will see on the center, you have a preview. In this preview, you have the basic branding of PandaDoc, which you can remove on the premium versions. And after that, you have the basic information of the sender. Then you have on the right some content information that you can insert. So we have the sender information. You can enter your variables. Let's say it's going to be AKA and the sender city is Berlin, whatever you want. We can just enter the values over here and we are going to just add a few different variables. I'm just adding a few random variables. But after that, we have the invoice. You can customize the appearance of the text as well and you can move it around as well. Below that, you have the client information and the invoice number, payment terms, the due date, all of that. You can click on over here to customize every bit of this information like so. And then let's say the due date is 01 March 2024. And then after that, you can also see you have a add to library option where you can create a library item with this particular section as well. You also can duplicate, add comments, have a variable property to your item as well. Now, after that, within your template, you are going to find this section over here where you actually have the items. Now, Obviously, for you and your items, they are going to be different. You can add different sections. Let's say this is going to be services. And then below that, we have a section for products used. And then after that, we can enter the products that we have. Now, for this, you do have to input your PandaDoc product or, you know, the products that you have. And let's say I have a keychain. I'm just going to put that in. And the quantity is set as one. So I can maybe alternate the quantity to six. 
and then if there are no services, I can remove the pre-existing template services by clicking on the right panel over here and clicking on this arrow, and then just click on delete row. So this will show you an empty column, and then maybe if I do want to insert a product, I can insert the product by going ahead and clicking on the plus icon over here, and I can insert a new product like so. So if I want to add this to a service, I can move this up and move this into the first section over here. Below that, you have the discount, tax, and then the total. Then below that, we have our signature and date section. Now, in your signature, you can see if you go into the right, you have text fields, initials, checkboxes, drop down, collect file, stamp as well. So let's say I want to insert my stamp like this and the date and I want to insert my stamp over here. We can add that as well if you want this to be on the end of your client. So I want there to be fillable field for my client so my client can also approve of the invoice that I sent them. I can request their signature over here. There may be um, initials or maybe I want their stamp as well. So I'll enter that over here right below. And right beside mine, I want them to also stamp and sign this so my invoice goes as an approved invoice by their business. Now, once you have completed this design, you can click on send on the top right to send via an email, link, or sign in person as well. You can also click on invite so you can add the recipient and they can receive a copy, or you can add a collaborator which can help you in developing your invoices with PandaDoc. Now, PandaDoc has a lot more functionality than just building invoices. It can help you in building proposals. It can help you in building multiple different types of agreements, presentations, HR, recruiting, financial information, legal information, healthcare, and more. And you might wonder, why do I need PandaDoc for this? Well, PandaDoc enables you to build an efficient and elaborative document that can be approved and that can actually have some level of authentication within that document. If you were to build the same thing with a simple tool, you wouldn't be able to get all of your budgeting, your information, your initials, stamps, signatures from you and your recipients directly in that document. Now with PandaDoc, you can go into forms on the left and create your own forms as well. You can click on a blank form to get started with a blank slate to build your own very customizable and very unique invoice or presentation or any kind of summary you want to generate. That's totally up to you. So let's say I want to build a simple summary summary for 2024 and then pricing summary and then after that i want to just insert a table and i want to provide them with the services cost and then the services could be listed over here i can go into the left field over here and you guys can see you have variables so i can add my custom variable over here this would be my products and then i'm going to add this variable and this could either be a product a like this and then we can go on ahead and insert a few columns and rows down below over here and then just insert each individual item as we go. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and now you are able to get started with PandaDoc. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.